Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs. I found my tea leaf oracle cards. I've been sort of unpacking boxes slowly and finding some treasures. Um, as well as, I'm gonna use this deck in the extended, the illuminated tarot deck, which I used on my live earlier on Instagram that I did not save. But let's go ahead and just feel out the energy, shall we, for the collectives. And here we go. You have obstacle. I don't know why I heard the song, ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough to keep me away from you. Yeah, head over heels. Yeah, that's exactly why I heard that song. Ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough, ain't no river wide enough to keep me from, to keep me away from you, to keep me from feeling this way that I feel about you. You can't see the cards. Oh boy, that was a disaster. That's a disaster. Oh well, you don't need to see it, I'll hold it up. All right? There is no obstacle here that would that could keep someone from feeling the way they feel, anonymous, but they keep it to the damn self. They hide it. This could be a secret admirer energy. They don't show it. Secrets, yes, it's a secret admirer. It's like I'm fucking psychic or something. They definitely keep these feelings to themselves. They haven't revealed it. They wear a mask. This is a very private person too when it comes to matters of the heart. They don't let anybody in. They're very guarded but they're head over heels for someone. Oh shit. The divine feminine. They're head over heels for the divine feminine. You might be a challenge to them too, right? What the, you know, the obstacle card could sort of symbolize that like the obstacle is you. You're the obstacle for them. You are Hard to get. Commitment and forbidden. Well, they think it's off limits. For whatever reason, someone here might think that a commitment is not on the table. It's not possible. Someone here might be in a commitment and so that's what makes it also impossible. But more than anything, I feel like they, they feel like it's not a possibility. Well, a relationship is not a possibility. Late night communication, of course. Might hear from them late at night. And you have a love confession. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody's getting ready to spill it. I did feel on the live today earlier that, we're, you know, this is the blue moon. This is a super blue full moon in Aquarius. And, and it's really intense, but what I felt was you don't really feel that intensity on the during this time of the, the full blue moon, I, energetically and like, I don't know, I just don't feel it. My gut tells me we're gonna feel the after effects of it in a few days, maybe even towards the ending of the week. This is that type of an energy, um, almost like, there's a delayed reaction here. Like the moon could cause some sort of reaction. Like the moon is a catalyst. You know what I mean? The moon is a catalyst. The moon causes some sort of pull or something.
the moon causes causes them to reach out you know there's that saying the mood the moon made me do it right there's that energy the moon made me do it the moon is going to almost i don't want to say force it out of them but i don't know it, it does give that type of a feeling of like it stirs something up inside of them it creates this feeling that they i don't know like they they feel inspired Something pushes them. Like the moon pushes them. What the hell was that? That flew. Release. That's been coming up nonstop today in all of the cards earlier on the live that I did. Release. I mean, that's what we do during full moons, right? We release and we let go. friendship no that could be it too that that's why it's off the table these two people could be platonic or they could be friends that could very well be the case they're friends sudden change yeah there could be a sudden change in this connection you have the feminine self-care so the feminine is focused on self-care there's a secret admirer energy that i felt earlier because if this is someone who you're platonic with they have these hidden secret feelings ascending higher this feminine here is on some sort of journey she's like going through major metamorphosis i mean not to say the masculine isn't either but there's something about the feminine really transformative this full moon's very transformative for the feminine specifically serenity someone here's finding peace and then you have romantic feelings yes because that's exactly what they're hiding someone's hiding the way they feel it's a deeper feeling that they feel something deeper They feel this feeling of, see, there it is, the wave of inspiration. I told you, I feel like they become inspired. Like the moon inspires them or triggers something in them to make them feel like they want to do this. Like, I don't even feel like it's like they want to. It's like they have a feeling they have to. They have to do it. They have to reach out. They need to make amends. I couldn't let you get close to me. I wish I had treated you better. That's the thing about people, yeah? They don't treat people well. And then later when something happens, they regret it. Right? It's They just, they, they just think, well, that person's always going to be there. Or, well, this is just, oh, well, I'm going to just treat them like shit. I know that I crossed the line with you. I remember every detail of that day. I left when I saw you with someone. Cards are flying everywhere. It's like the energy is really like, I don't know, pop off-ish. We'll be together again. I know I messed up everything. You know, this full moon can cause people to act ridiculous, right? To have them just just have something up their ass you know to just cause people to just be miserable and angry and just like negative and so someone here might be acting that way feeling that way you know they just have something up their ass they're just mad about something and it's it's their own misery 
you know, people who are happy with themselves in their life, they don't act like that. So there's something here. You have secrets, mystery cloaked and hidden. And that could be you encountering people like that around you, right? Just misery loves company. But the secret here is obviously their feelings. You have skull, death, rebirth, transformation, crystal ball. This is something you don't see coming because you can see she's blindfolded. And the crystal ball is about intuition. So there's something you don't see coming. And then the broom talks about freedom, right? Cleaning house and protection. And then there's the red rose. This is what you don't see coming. So this, this love has been hidden. You may not see this, this coming. You're going to be shocked if they confess. Starry sky. You have vain, pride, ego, and arrogance. This masculine could have been very prideful. And there's autumn. Changes, harvest, and abundance. We keep talking about how fall, it feels like fall already. Fall has come early. Right? But fall symbolizes changes. And then here you have white roses, which is purity, innocence, and young love. So it's like starting from scratch. Something is going to, something's very pure here. But it also like feels like it starts from scratch. You have grief. I told you somebody's in their feelings. And the lit match, spark creation, and new beginning. There's something here, whether it's this person themselves is in their feelings or really angry or just miserable right now, or you or you or there's energy around you like that. Because see, the issue is when you have such a strong, intense like things such as the, the this blue full moon in Aquarius, people who are not grounded and centered, they're gonna, like we, like there's a saying, right? They say, show they ass. Show they ass. Act like a fool, you know? They, they're just gonna act just very miserably. So that could also just be people you encounter in general. Because that's why they say, like during full moons, people act crazy, they act nuts. Because they just don't know how to ground themselves. They don't know how to be centered. And misery loves company. If someone's just fucking miserable, that's how they're going to act. So that's no surprise. We encounter that a lot during, you know, really powerful astrological events and such. You have vacation. So someone here could travel or there's a vacation coming. Love potion and romantic. Someone's fucking in love. Right? They're head over heels. They have like strong feelings for a person. And then you have sentimental. They're in their feelings. Someone's feeling very emotional right now. Patience and friendship and infatuated. It's what it is. They're, they're, they're in their feelings, right? They may have tried to detach from this feeling, but they can't. They're infatuated. They feel romantic feelings. You have heard the friendship card that flew all the way over there by itself, like just all alone by itself. And this is sort of like the elephant in the room. This is like the cock block is this friendship thing. This person may fantasize about you and dream about you in a non- platonic way it literally is what this is this person wants to be more than friends and they may not know how to say it they've definitely tried to pull away with a detached energy there's something here about patience too it's about being patient while this comes together i think is going to be like the key here and also being patient because you may have people around you that are like acting like fools and like acting just terribly and miserably and just, you know, the, like I said, the full moon, it's a super blue full moon. So instead of like wasting that energy to like be angry or lash out or to just be sad and miserable, really we want to use this energy to purge, to release, to plant new seeds for manifestation, right? So we're going to do everything we can to stay in a high vibration because it is required for us to manifest beautiful things during a time like this. You don't get a blue moon all the time. That's why it's, that's why people say once in a blue moon, because they're rare, right? And so you don't want to blow this type of an energy on getting sucked into people around you acting crazy or like, or being depressed about things that you can't change, right? We want to stay in this higher vibration to be able to manifest beautiful things. Um, let's just end it with this and then we'll get into the extended. Should you want to rent it, click this video, the word more. It's going to bring up all my links and you're going to click on the first one. It'll take you to my website. 
and you're gonna go to the extended readings and special love slash oracle. Now there seems to be extreme confusion that I it, that the reason I'm not shipping orders is for other reasons because like I'm just sitting here with my thumb up my ass. Um, I just moved and I have boxes still piled up in certain places and I have yet to unpack fully. So when I can unpack fully, I can continue shipping orders. Right now I can't even find labels. I don't even know where all the products are necessarily. So patience would be required here and also grace. I mean, I have given you guys a lot of me in seven years and I have really put myself last in a lot of situations when it comes to doing readings and helping people and all this stuff. And so during a transitional period of my life, like right now, you would think it goes without saying that people would be patient and they're not. And for those of you that aren't patient, I don't want my products in your hands any fucking way. So if you could please email me and I can just cancel your order and refund you ASAP, that would be best for all involved because I have people that are patient and understanding and would love to get their hands on those pre-orders. So please email me, ask me to cancel and, and refund you and I will very much so immediately the three cards we have that came out is career so there's some sort of business or career thing or someone here is very into their business or career and the courting man in twin flame so this person actually has the potential to be someone that could be a mirror soul aka twin flame right there's spiritual alignment between you and this person there's this underlying deeper thing there that you can't quite put your finger on and with the courting man it tells us that you're about to get courted bitch this is like dating but dating like kind of old school way there may have been this like underlying um courtship that has been going on that you weren't even aware of to be honest with you right and it could have been right in front of your fucking face and you didn't see it but in any case let's get into this extended all right i will see you guys later love you bye